Welcome to this overview of the ERICAD design process. In this video, I will demonstrate how to lay out an irrigation system, automatically size pipes, create the hydraulic reports and materials list, and produce a printed plan. This is the completed design. I will demonstrate the steps to produce the finished product. An ERICAD design contains at least one water source, mainline pipe, and at least one zone. A zone is defined by a control valve feeding sprinklers, drip line or other water emitting devices. In ERICAD, you can lay out the system in any order. You can start with the outlets, or the pipes, or the water supply. The basic rules to remember are All items downstream of a control valve are zone items and are selected from the zone menu or toolbar. All items upstream from a control valve or mainline outlet are mainline items and are selected from the mainline menu or toolbar. And the design process is design or analyse the zones, specify the valve management, then design or analyse the mainline. The design and analysis options are analyse. Use if you have chosen your own pipes or have made manual changes to the designed system. LP Design, a sophisticated algorithm that sizes pipes to satisfy the pressure range required at the outlets. Velocity, a pipe sizing algorithm using a maximum velocity setting. Detailed Analysis, an iterative method that calculates the actual flows at each emitter based on actual pressures. A customizable database containing irrigation product is supplied with ERICAD. The database includes data that controls an item's performance, including size and other hydraulic parameters. Prior to laying out the irrigation system, it is usual to start with background and or elevation information. The three main ways of obtaining this are importing files, importing directly from Google Earth, or drawing the background using the drawing tools. I am importing a DXF file for background and elevation information. More about importing is covered in the tutorial video, Importing Background Information into ERICAD. ERICAD has tools to help you quickly lay out hydraulic items. In this example, I am using the tape irrigation block to fill the designated area with evenly spaced drip line. A similar tool is also available for spray lines. These tools also allow us to specify the submain and valve position if required. We may specify the pipes or leave it up to IRICAD to size the pipes for us. Each larger block can be subdivided if required. I am subdividing this block by slicing along laterals and cutting laterals perpendicular. Any changes can quickly be made. These tools are described further in our other tutorial videos. Now we are ready to design the zone. In this design, I have specified computer selected submain pipe, so we'll use the LP design option to size the submain based on the pressures required by the drip line emitters. Now I will check the zone summary report. Here we can see the valve pressure the allowable operating range for the drip line as per the database parameters and the actual operating range in this design. There are many other zone reports and we can also check pipe sizes on the screen by double clicking on an item. This is also how we can make changes. Now that I am happy with the results of the zone design and have the final placement of the valves, we now need to tell ERICAD which valves are running when, so that the main line can be sized or analysed based on the flow conditions and required valve pressures. 
These point in time demands are called system flows, also known as stations or sets. Firstly, we should place a water supply. A water supply is placed to specify where water from a well, dam, river outtake or water at the farm gate is available. When specifying a water supply, you can either set the pressure to a known head or ask Ericad to calculate the required pressures. In this case, I will ask Ericad to calculate the pressure for me. To assign the valve operation graphically, I select Assign Zones to System Flows. In this case, I am running two valves at a time, so that is four system flows. I select each set of valves to run together. I now place mainline pipe, computer size in this case, and use a connection tool to automatically connect to the valves. Other items such as air valves, pressure reducing valves, isolating valves, etc. can also be added if required via the MISC hydraulic option. Running mainline LP design, Eric had sizes the mainline pipe based on the valve pressure requirements. I asked Eric had to calculate the water supply pressure for me so each system flow will produce a system duty requirement from the water supply. This information is shown in the system duty report and can be used to size a pump. There are many other hydraulic reports available for the main line. View the main line summary report to check the pressures at the valves. A full list of materials used in the design can be obtained from the BOM costing reports as shown in the BOM report. By running computer selection of fittings, we can also find the required fittings to solve each pipe junction. Now we can see these fittings added to the BOM costing reports as in the updated BOM report. Now the design is ready for printing. I have previously added automatic labelling and turned off some layers for printing. A plot layout, complete with legend key, can be placed on the design. Create a plot layout from the required template. Note that the templates can be customised and your company logo added. Using print, preview the printable plan before printing. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. More videos explaining the different aspects of designing with Ericad in more detail are available from our website with more coming soon.